three simple steps to close an insurance sale. Everyone wants to close, and I want you to picture something real quick as you're thinking about your prospect. What happens is, okay, what happens is your prospect, I never said I was the best drawer, okay, is in a state of confusion, all right? They're not certain that you have the answer. Maybe they haven't purchased insurance before, maybe they, and maybe they don't know if they should. Maybe they have before, maybe the experience wasn't great, maybe they canceled it, whatever, right? But what you need to do and what you need to think about when you're closing before we get to the steps, they're in a state of confusion. You need to take them to a state of excitement, to a state of certainty that you have the solution. Okay, so as we walk through this, be thinking about your prospect a little bit, all right? So the first step, three simple steps close. First step is to ask questions and listen. Most, most insurance agents think that by talking a lot, it's good. They think by having the gift of gab that it's amazing. They think that whoever's talking more wins. Eh, wrong. Ask questions and listen. The person asking questions is in control, but the person listening is the one that will influence the sale. Okay? I make sales when the prospect talks more than I do because I'm in control, I'm asking questions, I'm listening, and they are responding. So I want you to think about it. When you're trying to close a sale and when you're walking through this sale in a home, picture right now, you're in a home, ask questions, be in control, and listen to them. And actually listen, right? I'm not saying, you know, you should always be one step ahead, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean ignore what they're saying. It means listen, be, means be in the moment. It means be ready, okay? So ask questions and listen. That's step number one. Okay, step number two is to show, and I'm giving these in a, in a different way than I normally would, because I want you to think about a cell in a different way today, okay? Show empathy, not sympathy. You don't feel bad for them, okay? You feel empathy that you understand where they're coming from. You understand where they've, where they've been. You understand why they haven't done this. And you, you're with them, right? You're on their team. You're a part of this together. I want you to show empathy, not sympathy. You don't feel bad for the fact they haven't done it or the, feel bad that they chose the wrong option. It wasn't you because you're the right option, right? But it's empathy that you understand where they're coming from. You're with them, right? You're in this together. We want this to feel like a team effort. For example, when I, first bought my, when I made, made uh, $9,000 my first month in the insurance business, I went and spent it on a Dodge Challenger. And when I spent it on Dodge Challenger, the reason I'm saying this story is the salesperson, he felt like he was on my side the whole time. It was like, I don't know if you can get this. I don't know if they'll accept this offer. You know, um, that, that's what I kept hearing from management. But the salesperson was so good that I thought the dude was on my team. He was showing empathy, not sympathy. Okay, but it felt like we were together. He felt like he was on my side of the, of, of the negotiation. And I was like, dang, this salesperson is freaking good. And I've always remembered that. So remember that when you're talking to prospects. Show empathy, you wanna be on their side, you understand them, understand where they're coming from, and understand that you are the solution to help them get there, okay? The third step. The third step is confidence. What do people buy? Okay, think about this for a quick second. Slow, let's slow down for a second. What do people buy? Guess what? They don't buy products. They don't buy, they, they like benefits, but they don't buy benefits. They like features, they don't buy features. They like prices, but they don't buy the price, okay? Because you, I, I pay more for, pro, for, for products all the time than I could if I just went to Walmart. But I don't like to go to Walmart, so I'll go to Target and pay more, right? And maybe you're in the same equation. Your prospect is too, okay? They buy confidence, they buy you and your confidence and your certainty. So I want to express that you need to be certain. You don't say, I think you need this. I think this is the option for you. Eh, no, that ain't certain. When you're certain and you're confident, you don't use words like think. You don't use words like, you know what, maybe. You don't use words like, I'm not sure, you are freaking certain that you have the solution to their problem. Everyone buys because they have a problem, okay? Every, a, a, a salesperson is a problem solver and you are selling them the solution and you need to be confident that you are that solution, that you have that solution. You need to be certain. I believe a sale is made, okay? I believe that you will close deals 
when you believe that they will buy more than they believe that they won't. Now, if they believe they're not going to buy more than you believe that they will, they won't. But you need to be more confident that they will than, 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 than they are that they won't. That's when a sale is made. Okay? That is when deals are closed, is when you are confident, you are certain that you have the solution and you need to talk confidently. You need to talk with assumptive behavior. You need to use word tracks that are assuming because you are the answer, you have the answer, and you need to be confident when you close. I buy from people when they're like, dude, this is the only solution. This is the best solution on the market and it is definitely going to solve your problem. Let's see if we can get you approved for this. What's your full legal name? Right? You need it, you want it, you can afford it. This is the answer. Now, I'm helping you do it because I'm the dude to do it. True? Now let's go. Okay, let's see if we can get you approved, right? That's certainty, that's confidence, that's assumptive behavior. And that is why you will close more deals because insurance agents fail because they don't close enough deals. Typically they don't get in front of people, but when they do, maybe we're not asking questions and listening. Maybe we're not showing empathy. Maybe we aren't super freaking confident that we have the solution. So this is the three simple steps to close an insurance sale from somebody that made six figures in their first eight months in the business, okay? And that knows that you too can make six figures in this business. 92% of insurance agents fail, only 8% succeed, which is why Dylan's at 8% nation cap right now, you can't even see it, because we don't close enough deals. You can close enough deals. You can make whatever amount of money you wanna make. I'm certain of it, I'm confident in it, and now I need you to be confident in it as well. Hey, 92% of insurance agents fail. Most of you won't make it. If you want to be sure that you make it, and that you know how much money you can make, then keep watching this, all right? My name is Cody Askins. I started in the insurance business about a decade ago. When I was 19, I was an intern. I became a full-time insurance agent while I was in college, taking 21 credit hours a semester. I was playing basketball as a college athlete. Tournaments, games, weekends, weeknights, practices every day. And I made a decision to earn $100,000 my first year. And using our six-figure sales system and some of the stuff that I'm gonna share with you briefly and shortly, I was able to earn $117,361 and you can't forget the 13 cents in my first eight months as an insurance agent. So how much money can you make? I'm gonna share with you right now how much money a new insurance agent can make, okay? So stay with me, all right? So I wanna talk through some of the numbers behind this because I'm, I'm a numbers guy, okay? 92% fell within three years, okay? Awful statistic, we created 8% Nation because of that. That's the Insurance Wealth Conference where we get agents like you together every single year. We're going to Vegas, okay, this next year. How much money can you make though as an agent? And you're wondering that, okay? I said that I made $117,361.13 in my first eight months as a brand new insurance agent, couldn't spell insurance, didn't know how to sell, wasn't confident in my ability, no product knowledge, et cetera, right? And that may be you sitting there right now. And you're thinking, okay, how much money can I make? I'm gonna walk you through, number one, the average, okay? Because I always wanna know what is average just so I don't freaking do that, right? Because nobody wants to, you watch this right now. Do you wanna be average? I bet you don't wanna be, dude, I don't, I don't wanna be average either, okay? So the average insurance agent makes about 50, thousand dollars per year some states some areas some different product types it's higher some it's lower okay about 50k that sucks right that's horrible but i was trained a long time ago to not say the word but because it's kind of like an eraser word but i'm gonna keep using it anyway okay there are more millionaires in this industry insurance and financial services than any other industry in the world. And you say, well, Cody, how much money can I make? Well, I know you wanna make more than the average. So I'm gonna show you what you can expect to make your first year. If you follow the six-figure sales formula, which I'm assuming that you're gonna follow, correct? You're committing now, you're gonna follow what we, what we share with you, okay? So let's look at the six-figure sales system. That's a book I'm working on right now. Six-figure sales system. And I believe that 
Every insurance agent, this is the Triple S weekly system. I believe that every insurance agent should set 15 appointments per week. They should sit and ask 10 people to buy every single week and that they should actually physically sell at least five policies, applications every single week. And if you do the math and let's just say, for example, let's just say you're selling life insurance. Okay. Let's just say that you're selling life insurance and let's just say that you are a brand new agent and you're on a 50% commission level. Okay. Let's just say that you average when you sell life insurance policy, you should average at least, at least $700 of annual premium per sale. That's the premium the client pays over an entire year. Okay. At 50% commission, that is $350 in commission. Okay. Let's just say that you sell five of those every single week. Okay. You can do the math pretty quick that if you do five of those selling life insurance, you're at 1750 bucks per week. Okay. So take that times 50. Okay. And you're at about, you're at about 80 to 90 K right off the bat selling life insurance. Now let's just say, let's just say that you're selling, let's just say that you're selling health insurance. Okay. Or Medicare. And let's just say that every time you sell a policy, you make 200 bucks. Okay. Just for easy math sakes, for an example, you can change the numbers for your own example. Okay. Let's just say you make 200 bucks commission every time you sell a policy, but let's just say that maybe it's residual and maybe you get paid the same amount the second year as you did the first year. Okay. And let's just say that you sell five policies per week. Okay. That's a thousand dollars per week. That is 50 K per year. But if you make the same amount the first year, the second year and the third year, because it's residual income, then all you have to do is do this three years in a row. And guess what? Here's your first year. Here's your second year, hundred K cause you can double it. That's if you don't lose any clients and you'll probably lose 10%. Okay. Third year, you're up to $150,000. Okay. Now let's say you're selling home and auto. Okay. And let's just say that the average customer you're typically going to make about, I would say it's closer to this, but let's just say for easy math sake, because because I I personally believe that every home and auto insurance agent should be selling 20 policies, policies, not households, every single month. Okay. Let's say you average, let's say you average a hundred bucks. Okay. That's two grand. Let's just say that you get it again the next year. That's four grand, right? It takes time. To, I'm just, for example, it takes time to build a property and casualty business, home and auto business. The key is to this is how much money can I make? Well, these are early numbers. These are specific examples. The average is this, I believe, and I've got another video previously that talks about how I believe you can make a million dollars a year selling insurance. There's more millionaires than any other interest in the world, then why not? Okay. When I was a new agent, I focused on getting in front of people every single week. The secret to you making money early, often and consistently and keeping this thing sexy is by following this. The whole key to this is you need a prospecting system. The only reason that insurance agents that this happens, that 92% fail, and the reason the average is this, and the reason that most people fail, and you maybe will too, hopefully not for watching this video, the only reason why, the number one reason why insurance agents fail, the number one thing they struggle with, number thing, one thing you probably struggle with is what? It's getting in front of people. That's the toughest part of this business. Nobody ever does this. Nobody ever does this. Nobody ever does this. Because if you don't start with this, you can't get this. If you don't get this, you can't get this, right? You can't sit with three people a week, two people a week, like most of you are right now and expect to sell five policies every single week. It ain't going to happen. Okay. Number one reason people fail is they struggle with a prospecting system, getting in front of people. That's why I have a six figure sales system that teaches you every step of the way. I believe, I believe, okay. For this, I believe you should be working your warm market. I believe that you should be working about 20 to 30 leads per week. 
Okay, and I believe that you should have a third activity. Maybe it's door knocking, maybe it's something else that you can go out and specifically go make money right now. Now the question was, how much money can I make? There is no specific answer. You can make as much money as you would like to make. You set the target, okay? Because the whole trick to this is, okay, if there even is one, is if we put it into steps, okay? If you wanted to leave with specific steps from this video, all right, and I'm running out of whiteboard, as you can see, because I get a little crazy, all right? Number one, you need a target. My first year, I set a target. I said, I will make $100,000 my first year. I committed. I wrote it down. I told everyone. I made it public. And if I didn't do it, I was going to be embarrassed, right? You need a target. And everyone needs to know. You need to be able to publicly hold yourself accountable, okay? Step one, you need a target. Step two, you have to know your numbers so that you can actually go and hit step one. Funny how that works. And then step three, you have to actually go execute on those numbers. Most insurance agents, they struggle with this because they don't spend enough money, okay? We have five different companies here, maybe a sixth pretty soon. We will spend five million bucks a year on 8% Nation, agency, secure agent leads, secure agent marketing, Cody Askins brand, all those things. We'll spend five million bucks a year operating this thing. When I spend more money, I make more money. Maybe you should start spending more money. So when we say, how much money can you make? I want you to make a lot of money. I want you to be successful. I promise you it's possible. I believe in you. I want to motivate you. I want to challenge you. But just remember, you got to get in front of people. So when you make 100K, I want you to think back on this video. When you make a quarter million dollars, half a million dollars, a million bucks, $10 million, whatever it is, the answer is you can make as much money as you would like. But you got to believe in yourself, you got to have a system, and you got to go execute. Hey, if you love this video, there's one video you absolutely have to watch. It's how to make $10,000 weekly, and it's right there. Go click on it, and I'll see you there. Let's do the math. So if you want to think through 10K, all right? So the, so the goal is $10,000, okay? If you divide that by an average premium,